Hey guys, so today we are going to make a very traditional apple cake. It will have a very crumble texture on the outside and in the inside we have a glorious and like a little jam like apple sauce. So every bite will be so beautiful and just let make it with me. So for the first step, we are going to prepare the pie crust. For the first preparations, we need to cut the butter into smaller pieces and then fold it. With this step, the butter will become more firmer. And later, when we mix it with the flour and other ingredients, it won't melt too easily. For the next step, we are going to add in all the frozen butter into the flour and just gently using the fingertip to press the butter into the flour until everything is well combined. The final texture will be like this, like it will be have a texture of a wet sun, like it won't melt too quickly and it's still you can feel a little bit of butter. And then I'm just gonna slowly add in my cold water. You don't need to add in all of the cold water all at the same. You just add slowly one by one and then just gonna adjust it when you do it. The final dot will be stick together like this, like it will still be soft but it won't be too dry. In the meantime, we are going to prepare the apple. So I'm living in Vietnam so I cannot get like Granny Smith kind of green apple. But with this recipe, almost every apple will be fine to use. All you need to pay attention is the sourness of the apple. If your apple is too sour, you should adjust the sugar added to it later. Today my apple is quite sour so I add a little bit more sugar than I should to the original recipe. But don't need to worry, just adjust it to your taste and it will be very delicious. When you are cutting the apple, there are actually two ways for you to cut it. The normal way could be cut it into thin slices and then just gonna layer each other. Today I'm gonna cut my apple into even dices. I find this is way easier to like when adjusting to the cake, also it's easier to eat. After marinate my apple for 30 minutes, I'm just gonna add it into a saucing pan and then just gonna mix until everything is combined. Because apple naturally contain pectin, so when you heat it in the frying pan, the pectin will slowly release to your apple and it will create like a very delicious apple sauce in the end. Like the, all the apple will lose its texture, become a little bit softer, but it still have a like, nice crunch in the center. And I prefer my apple to still have some crunchy texture in it, so I'm just gonna cook it for like 7 to 8 minutes. If you want your apple to become a little bit softer, you can continue to cook it for another 3 to 4 minutes until the apple becomes very soft. So in the meantime, while we are waiting for the apple to cool down, just prepare the dot. For the crust in the bottom, I want a very thin but still be able to hold the crust so I'm gonna roll it until it reach about 1cm thickness, it could be the perfect amount. And instead of a traditional cake pie pan, I'm just gonna eat a tart pan. I find it's way more easier for me to remove the tart from the mold instead of the traditional pie mold. After covering all of the mold with the pie dot, you just gonna gently press until everything is stick to the pan and just gonna use your fingertip and gently remove all of the excess part. For the next part, we are going to gather all of the excess part and then just gonna gently roll it one more time until it reaches the desired thickness and then we are going to cut the pattern on the top of the cake. Today I want to make everything to look very uniform so I'm using a ruler to measure everything. I find that the laces on top of the pie should be like 2cm in wide and it will look very beautiful. Like it is not too large and it is not too small so it will look very beautiful. Just try to cut it as much as possible. I have like 10 laces like my apple have completely cooled down and we are just gonna move it to the top pond. Like I said before because I cut it into dices so it's very easy for me to rearrange the pot. And now we are going to add it all the laces. It might look like a little bit complicated but actually in the screen I showed you like this it's very easy to follow. The only thing you need to pay attention is like you need to add it in the same order. If you like mess up with the order it will look very weird but if you just gently do it one by one like this it will be very easy and the final product will be very beautiful like this. Look at this. 
And just like before, when you add in all of the laces, just gently use your fingerprint and just gonna cut it with the part mode. And for the remaining part, I want to do something extra special. So I'm just gonna use some cookie cutter and cut all of my remaining pie dot into flower shape like this. I actually buy this at Daiso when I was in Japan and it looks so beautiful like it representing the sakura flower so much and to make the flower look a little bit more realistic I'm just gonna use a toothbrush and just gently press down to every pattern of the flower to make it look more beautiful of course this step is totally optional so if you don't want to do it just skip it your apple pie will still be very delicious but it won't look so beautiful like this and if you want to take a photo take it now because when it bake it could turn into a brown color and it and the cake also rise a bit so the shape might be loose like all of the patterns that we just make it might be go away for the final touch i'm just gonna use a simple egg wash to brush off the top of the cake this will guarantee the golden color of the apple cake later and now our apple pie is ready to be baked so in a preheated oven i'm just gonna bake my pie at 180 celsius for 40 minutes or until the top has turned a little bit golden brown like this like it looks so beautiful because I'm using a top mold so I can remove it very easily from the mold and because when the pie cool down it will be a little bit more hardened so if you want a little bit more beautiful cut you should let it rest for at least 2 hours when it completely cool and then you can cut it and it could be more beautiful but like for real who can resist a fresh baked apple pie like this like the smell of butter combined with the smell of the apple it's just a perfect combo even when it's just a traditional cake but I hope you like it.